While you can still post square graphics on Instagram, it's been quite some time that you've been able to post a larger portrait-oriented image at 1080 pixels wide by 1350 pixels tall. But your profile feed still crops those portrait images to a square, so it becomes really important to make sure that whatever your full Instagram image design looks like, that you're not having any weird bits of text cropped off at the top or bottom or partially showing logos and things like that. So I wanted to show you a really easy way to make sure that you always know exactly where your feed image will be cropped. I've got a portrait sized Instagram design open here and the easiest and fastest way to always know what's going to show up in that middle square is to add some guides. First I'm going to add a rectangle element and then I'll make it a bright color so it stands out from the rest of the template. Then I'll go to position and then to the arrange tab and I'll change the dimensions of that rectangle to be exactly 1080 by 1080. Let's put that dead center on the design by choosing middle and center. Anything behind this square is what will appear in the cropped feed image. And don't worry, this square won't be staying here. It's just to aid us in adding the guides. So let's add those now. If you don't already have rulers and guides turned on, you'll want to go to File, then View Settings, and then Show Rulers and Guides. Now I'm just going to click on the ruler at the top here and I'm going to drag a guide into my design. And I'm going to snap it to the bottom of that rectangle that I added. Then I'll do that again and I'll snap it to the top of the rectangle. Next, I'll delete my rectangle altogether. And now you can see these purple lines marking where the top and bottom of that shape was located so I can see precisely what's going to show up within that cropped square, which means I also know what will show on my Instagram feed. Don't worry, the purple lines aren't going to show up in your downloaded image, it's just there for your own guidance. So I can very quickly see that this share save icon line is going to get partially cropped in that feed image, but I can fix it by selecting those items and moving them out of the way of that guide. And I can adjust any other elements of the design that I want. And now I can rest easy knowing that my Instagram post will look great in both full viewing mode and on my profile's feed. If you haven't yet upgraded to Canva Pro, I encourage you to give it a try. And you can do a 45-day free Canva Pro trial by going to brendacadman.com forward slash Canva.